In my previous video, I showed how you can take Simplify 3D, import a G code file from a cat, and make a really good profile for your Ender 3. But a lot of people were looking for Cura. We do this in Cura. How do we do it in Cura? Cura profile, please. Is there any chance to get this profile for Cura? Cura, Cura, Cura. I'll give it a shot right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I mostly use Simplify 3D, but when Cura came out with version 3.x, I tried it out and I really liked it. So now I'm at 3.5.1. I've been using it with my Creality CR10 Mini, which actually is my favorite printer to use. I haven't used Cura with my Ender 3, so I need to add that machine setting. So I go under Settings, Printer, Add Printer, under Other, scroll down to Creality Ender 3, click on that radio button, and then Add Printer. This adds the machine settings, not a print profile, the machine settings for the Ender 3. It shows number two because I've already done this once. Now the profile is the print profile. I come down here and I'm going to select normal, which is a 0.15 layer height. So now I'm going to select the expert view so I can see what I want to change for the cat profile. The first one is 0.15 layer height. I'm going to change that. Print thin walls, I'm going to change that and I'll explain why in a minute. 10% infill, I'm going to change that to 20%. Uh, temperature, I'm going to print it at 205, not 200. I'm going to hear 100% flow, but I'm going to change that elsewhere in the experimental area. 5 millimeters retraction, 40 millimeters per second. I'm going to change those based on the cat profile. I'm going to change to 50 millimeters per second instead of 60. And here's where I change it to 90%, the flow rate compensation factor in the experimental area. But let's slice this as just a normal profile. And I'm going to print it and see how this turns out. And when I did this, I noticed something because of that print thin walls not being checked. I sliced this with just the normal. I didn't change anything. And when I went to layer view, I noticed that it's not printing some of the thin walls right here at the base. If I go back to the solid view, you can see these are the walls that aren't being printed. So normal is not doing that by default, but there's a setting you can use to make that appear. To fix that, all you have to do is select print thin walls and then re-slice it and then they'll show up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to print with the default settings and see how that turns out. But I just wanted to show you that that's how you can fix the thin walls. So now let's look at what the results were on my Ender 3 for the default. And here it is. My first impression is this looks rough, but when I looked at the bridges, the posts, the pyramids, the circles, it all looked really good. It's just these arches that made it look bad. So overall, I think this is actually a pretty good profile to start with. Let's see what we can do. So now let's make some changes based on that cat profile from my previous video. The first thing I'm going to do is change from 0.15 to 0.12 layer height. I'm going to change the default uh, infill density to 20% from 10%. I'll scroll down a little further, change the temperature to 205 from 200. For retraction, I increase the distance to 10 millimeters from 6 and 60 millimeters per second. And print speed, I lowered it to 50 millimeters per second. I did equalize flow, that's a bonus that wasn't in the cat profile. And then I went further down to basically, I think it's the bottom here, where it's under experimental. There's a setting to adjust flow rate, the compensation. So I made that 90, it was originally 100%. And that's it. Those are the only changes I made for mine. I did enable print thin walls on the cat profile. And I sliced it, and you can see they show up here, and it looks pretty good. So now let's print it. And here's the results. Initially, it looked pretty good. But when I look closer, the bridging is excellent, but the posts were a little bit rougher. And the arches were much better, less sagging, and the letters about the same, easy to read. But I wasn't super impressed. So then I tried printing the cat, and it came out good, but I could see some lines at the back of the head. So I don't think this profile is perfect. But when I tried it on the CR10, it came out even better. The posts are just fantastic. The square posts, the bridging is excellent. The arches are pretty good. It printed great on the CR10. So I tried the CR10 Mini by printing the cat. It came out really good. But I'm just not sold that this profile is that much better than normal. So it turns out the original cat settings that I used in the previous video were actually from a Simplify 3D file, not a Cura file. So 
adjusting that normal settings based on the cat I don't think it did a whole lot of improvement that normal settings the lower half to this test print is really good it's the upper portion the arches that really the sagging that didn't turn out that good so I'm not sure these cat settings are doing as much as we hoped but at least now we know I'm gonna put those cat settings in my Thingiverse link in the description below try it out let me know what you guys get I'd love to see if maybe someone can improve on it or maybe you're gonna get better prints than me I don't know but I'm definitely getting good prints on the CR 10 and decent on the CR 10 mini and really pretty good on the Ender 3 just those certain things like the arches but overall I think Cura is giving me good prints just with that normal setting which is pretty impressive for a free slicer anyway that's it if you like what I'm doing here maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up if you want to help support the channel a dollar a month to patreon or buy through my affiliate links it really helps out in the description below and if nothing else click on the chip logo and subscribe I'll see you next time right here at filament Friday